dive into Jesse's treasure trove, where every piece speaks mysteries. Jesse's oddities beckon. Get yours today. Hey guys, it's Jessie V, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you a very creepy legend about why you should maybe never wear blue nail polish. I also tried to keep with the blue theme with my top. I kind of matched my backdrop as well. By the way, this is the last time you're gonna see this backdrop. I'm a little bit late on the April backdrop, okay? A lot has been going on. My family and I actually just got back from the most beautiful cottage I've probably ever been to. We went to Eco Bay Chalet, which is a beautiful home in Severn, Ontario. Architecturally, this place was gorgeous. The interior design was top notch. I mean, every part of this house was just magazine worthy. And my favorite part was the large windows. Everywhere you looked, you had a beautiful view of the water or the trees. There are so many room, there's so much room for your friends and family to stay with you. And so many different places to read, like cozy corners to read in, which obviously I took advantage of. So thank you so much Eco Bay Chalet for hosting me. I'm gonna put a link down below to their website so you can have a chance to go visit and bring your friends and family. Also, we still have some Jessaline dolls available. So if you had your eyes on her, she probably had her eyes on you. If you would like to take her home and adopt her and have her be the protector of your home to keep away the evil witches, <laughs> I will put a link to her down below. We love Jessaline. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Okay, so let's get into the creepy video about blue nail polish. And guys, if you want me to do a video about each color, definitely let me know. This could be like the crayon videos 2.0, but they're on our nails. I don't even have nail polish on right now. I feel like I should have put on blue. I missed the opportunity. So blue is actually said to be the most attractive nail polish color that someone could wear. And what's interesting is that it wasn't popular until the 90s and people were actually shocked when it first came out because typically people used to wear red, pink, nude, colors like that were all always popular. But in the 90s, companies started coming out with blue nail polish and people were like, whoa, that is striking. A little weird too. People were posting reviews saying things like, blue is just too unnatural to be a nail color. But then it just caught on and people started loving it. If you happen to be wearing blue nail polish right now, comment any blue emoji. And if you're not wearing blue, what color are you wearing? Let me know. The color blue is said to represent calmness, intelligence, and trust. And that's actually why why most business logos are blue and blue is a common theme in advertisements. It is a little brainwashy, okay? But companies often use different colors to make you feel different things. I've done a whole video on that. It's actually crazy. They mess with our brains. Blue is also associated with a handful of superstitions. The use of a blue umbrella, for example, is believed to give you protection from emotional concerns. And dressing a baby in blue is also thought to protect the baby from evil spirits that surround around the newborn. There are some people that believe blue eyes represent delicate souls. And one omen says that a blue balloon can represent your deepest desires and aspirations. And when you let it float into the sky, those will become reality. But I don't recommend just like letting balloons fly into the sky because I feel like that's really bad for our environment, right? Environment over our wishes, okay? So let's talk about this creepypasta. It is called She Wore Blue nail polish. So I'm gonna be reading this in the perspective of this guy who has a crush on a girl. I'd always seen her from a distance, laughing and talking with her friends, but I never had the courage to approach her. She was popular and I was not. She always had her hair curled perfectly and on trend outfits, but she always wore the same shade of blue nail polish no matter what. So this guy is really observant. He's always taking into account what her hair looks like, what she's wearing, but he always notices the blue nail polish. I remember I often stared at her longingly in the cafeteria as I ate lunch alone, watching her with her gaggle of friends. I really wanted to join her, but I didn't. So he's really watching her. I don't know about you guys, but I can always feel when someone has their eyes on me for a long period of time. It's like a paranoia thing. Does anyone else agree? I sometimes even listen to her whispered conversations with her friend in math class. They often spoke of movies they'd seen, makeup and music. She would absentmindedly tap her blue nail polish nails on the desk as she talked. 
Occasionally, she would toss her hair over her shoulder and glance at the clock at the back of the room. Sometimes she caught my eye and we even made eye contact. Those times were good. So this girl has noticed him. Like every so often they'll lock eyes. I feel like it's because she feels like someone's watching her. She's like, who's looking at me right now? She was very pretty, as most popular girls are. But that wasn't the only reason I liked her. She seemed kind, too kind, perhaps. Some of her friends didn't deserve it. One afternoon, as I entered the cafeteria, I saw that her chair was noticeably absent. Her friends spoke in hushed voices. So one day she just wasn't there, which I guess was just strange because he saw her every single day. I told myself there was no need to be concerned. I had heard one of her friends say something with the word sick in it. Maybe she had a sick day? I went to my table and sat alone. It felt sort of strange not looking at her the whole lunch period. I missed her. But don't be silly, I told myself. You'll see her again soon. As I walked home later that day, I felt strange. Why was this so concerning to me? Plenty of people got sick and couldn't come to school. Was it simply because I cared for this girl more than I cared for others? I took the back way home, through the park that sat in the middle of the town and separated my house from the school. I sometimes saw her come this way with her friends after school too, but today I saw no one. When I got home, neither of my parents had gotten off work yet. I was relieved. Their constant self-absorption and yelling could get exhausting. Maybe that's why I liked to look at her so much. She was so kind, so calm. I went to my room and opened my closet. Now I felt at peace, calm. All my worries from lunch slipped away. Who would know? We've never even spoken, let alone been seen together. I touched her hand gently, lovingly. She wore blue nail polish. He put her in the closet. Ah! I mean, I had a feeling that's where this story was going because he seemed like an obsessive stalker, obviously. He noticed so many details. He was always watching her. And he even said at one point, like, her friends don't deserve her, AKA. I'm taking her, I deserve her. So I just thought that was so, so creepy. And like I said, if you guys want me to do more videos about different nail polish colors, I definitely can. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do that. And don't forget to check out Eco Bay Chalet, linked down below. And if you would like a Jessaline doll, she's linked down there as well. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Children lost ensnared by a witch's binding spell. Jessaline, the awakened soul, yearns to escape and find a new home. Dare you join her and explore more?